Hello everyone. Question number 31 is exactly with the same context as question number 29 and 30. The only difference is when the boat is going in this direction and water is also going in the same direction, it is the downstream. When the boat is going in this direction and water is going in this direction, this is the upstream. But when we talk about the aeroplane, then the aeroplane and the wind also act in the same manner. When we talk about a uh, headwind in 3.5 hours and on the return trip it takes 3 hours. Now the important thing is that here it is taking less number of hours as compared to the first case. It means the first in the first case it is going against the wind <coughs> and in the second case it is going with the wind. So that is very very important. I am talking about speed of aeroplane and this is against the wind is 1680 upon 3.5 and speed of aeroplane with the wind is 1680 upon 3. Here one thing we have to understand that the when it is taking less time it means it is going with the direction of the wind and when it is taking more time, it means that it is going against the direction of the wind. <coughs> so this is actually something like upstream as in the last question and this is something like downstream as in the last question. So if we calculate this, it is 1680 upon 7 into 2, Multi uh, if we calculate this comes out to be 480 kilometer per hour while when we calculate this so it is 560 kilometer per hour it means when it is going with the direction of the wind then it is 560 kilometer per hour and when it is coming against the direction of the wind it is 480 kilometer per hour now with the direction of wind it is the speed of arrow going plus the speed of wind which has to be added together and because we know the speed of with the stream is 560 so this comes out to be 560 km per hour while when we talk about against the wind so speed of aeroplane minus the speed of wind comes out to be 480 km per hour if we add them this can be considered twice the speed of aeroplane is equals to this plus this comes out to be 1040 kilometer per hour. So the speed of aeroplane becomes 1040 upon 2 that means 520 kilometer per hour. If we put this value of speed of aeroplane in the first equation then 520 plus the speed of wind comes out to be 560. So speed of wind automatically comes out to be 560 minus 520 and that is 40 kilometer per hour and here we know that we have to find the speed of planes air speed and the wind speed so speeds of the aeroplane is 520 and the speed of the wind is 40 kilometer per hour this is exactly the same kind of question as we did in question number 29 and 30 the only difference is with the uh, there it was both and steam and here it was aeroplane and the wind in the next class, we will talk about question number 32. If you have any problem, you can email or contact us. Thank you.